Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion is on border gateway protocol. This protocol is based on path vector routing algorithm. Just try to recall the classification of unicast routing algorithms. This protocol is based on the path vector routing algorithm. If you try to recall the classification for unicast routing algorithms, in many of my video lecture sessions, I have been telling the classification interdomain, intradomain, and intradomain you have the uh, link state routing and the distance vector routing whereas in interdomain you have the path vector routing algorithm. Now there is one diagram here okay for the explanation I thought I'll go with this diagram which is going to cover all possible situations the functionality for the border gateway protocol but just uh, I'll try to make you recall one more term which I had discussed in the introductory classes for the unicast routing protocol. There I said that the complete internet is based on what the complete internet is complete internet is divided into different autonomous systems. You can give the names for the autonomous systems, autonomous system 1, 2, 3. Okay, and each autonomous system, what do you mean by an autonomous system? It consists of smaller networks, a group of networks which are handled by one single administrator. Because it is very difficult to manage the entire set of networks in the internet, it is divided into autonomous systems under one single administration. So, each autonomous system will have what? Smaller networks within that. And now, uh, to route the packets between these autonomous systems, this is what I wanted to tell you how this border gateway, roto, uh, root, border gateway routing protocol is coming into picture here. Now, let us take this is one autonomous system and this is another autonomous system. As long as see in the previous uh, topics, uh, unicast routing protocols wherein you have studied RIP, okay, this is the protocol that is based on the distance vector routing algorithm. This protocol is what we said there it is an intra domain okay intra domain protocol now if this is one autonomous system let us take as1 then here you have the different routers and connected via networks fine so within this autonomous system we say within this domain it is possible for each of the routers to construct what the forwarding tables then RIP was one such protocol, isn't it? With the help of this uh, protocol, the routers are constructing the forwarding table so that they can reach the networks that are connected to these routers within this domain only. Similarly, here AS2, within this domain, if the routers want to communicate uh, with uh, the routers want to reach the networks which are which are connected, fine, which are connected then they can make use of the intra-domain routing protocol. Not only RIP, you have another protocol called as OSPF also. Even this protocol can be used to construct what the forwarding tables within the domain. So, we say this is within the domain possible, within the domain possible. This is one autonomous system, this is another autonomous system. Each one is trying to make use of the intra-domain protocol only to construct. This is fine, okay. As long as the uh, uh, networks that are present in one autonomous system AS1, if they are communicating with each other, then it is fine. But suppose if the routers, they want to travel, they want to communicate with the networks that are connected to, that are present in another autonomous system. So, we say this type of communication is what? Interdomain. Okay. How interdomain is possible? With the help of the protocol called as border gateway protocol. And border gateway protocol has got two variants, external border gateway and internal border gateway. So, first we shall try to see the working of the external border gateway. And this is the only protocol, only interdomain protocol available. Okay, And this is the one which is used presently in the internet today. And uh, it is mainly used to what to communicate with networks of other autonomous system. Similarly, here this router wants to communicate with the networks of this autonomous system. Then the border gateway protocol is the one which is helping the routers to uh, communicate with other autonomous systems. So the one which you are studying is the version 4 okay, and it is an interdomain protocol. It is based on the path vector routing algorithm. Now, with the same, uh, the, with the introductory part, or introductory part of this uh, uh, border gateway, now same way I am just showing you exactly the networks and the routers. So, let us look into this diagram. First, let me tell you how are these uh, autonomous systems, what each autonomous system consists of. Now, here what I have done is we have taken four autonomous systems, AS1, AS2, AS3 and AS4. These are the numbers given to this four autonomous systems. AS1 has got how many? Four routers. AS2 has got two router, one router, AS3 has got three routers and AS4 has got one. And each of these routers are connected to different networks. 
now within this autonomous system this part you already know if you try to recall whatever you learned for rip okay within the autonomous system how to construct the forwarding tables you are quite familiar now now we have to see how these autonomous systems are communicating with the networks that are present in other autonomous systems now in this example what exactly is being done is in each autonomous system the routers are identified as the border routers okay few routers are identified as the border routers and we call it as the speakers and since it is an external border gateway variant we call it as ebgp speakers now since this as1 has got see as1 and also one more thing you just try to remember i wanted to tell you autonomous systems are one is called as the stub and another is the transient the difference between these two is sorry stub autonomous system is connected to one single autonomous system only if you look here as2 it is connected to as1 as4 is connected to as1 as3 is connected to as1 so if an autonomous system is connected to one single autonomous system the other one then we call it as the stub autonomous system the transient autonomous system is one which is connected to more than one autonomous system so here as1 is connected to as2 as3 and as4 now when i am trying to say they are connected connected so what exactly is the connection now B through the border routers only they are connected so each in each autonomous system first they are trying to find, identify which are routers should play as the role of the border routers or we can say ebgp speakers so now look here this one is there uh, as1 now this router r1 is identified as the border router to communicate with what as2 then r4 is identified as the border router to communicate with as4 okay and r2 is identified as a border router to communicate with the as3 since you have three autonomous systems here uh, leaving this as1 definitely as1 will have what three border routers only though you can see there are four routers here but since you have to have what the sessions established between the other autonomous systems only that many for that many sessions only you are going to identify a ebgp speaker so r1 is one ebgp speaker r2 and r4 now to update the messages okay that means now and in this as2 r5 is the border router and in as4 actually this is having only one single router in these two as2 and as4 have got one single router and that router itself is called as the uh, ebgp speaker or the border router and whereas in this as3 r6 is identified as the border router fine now what is your main aim here you have to know that as1 should reach networks that are present in as2 that are present in as3 that are present in as4 similarly as2 should reach networks that are present in as1 as3 and as4 likewise as4 should reach networks okay present in as1 as3 and as2 finally as3 should reach networks present in as2 as1 and as4 for that reason only you are identifying the border routers and establishing the session so here i have shown with one uh, this one these border routers are connected with point to point wan okay with the uh, networks here you can see n5 n6 and n7 okay over the networks point to point wan connection is established actually though there is a physical connection here because these two routers have to exchange the messages there is a logical connection established using the tcp protocol and making use of the port number 179 okay the sessions we say this is one session uh, one session e b g p session whatever i am showing here in the dotted line now this one is the e b g p session so how many sessions are there three sessions have got e b g p session so one pair one session here there is one pair one session one pair one session so this way the sessions are established now see uh, what i'll be doing is i'll just write what are the mix, ex messages that are exchanged here okay between these two ebgp speakers and uh, those messages i shall be writing here in this table now let me tell you suppose i'll just tell r1 is sending message 1 1 i am indicating here in the table okay what does one sends okay the message that is that is sent to r5 because r1 knows what how to reach the networks that are connected in its autonomous system only which are those n1 n2 n3 and n4 so these are the messages n2 n3 and n4 fine if this message is uh, sent to as2 then 
for this particular any time if as2 wants to reach networks a n1 n2 n3 and n4 the next route uh, the next router will be what r1 and the name of the autonomous system will be as1 this is how you have to fill the values hope you are getting it <coughs> now not only r1 will send to r r5 will also send its update that means its update to r1 right then uh, this two whatever i am encircling it now r2 r5 is uh, trying to convey that you can reach the networks n8 and n9 via r5 so n8 n9 via r5 and what is the autonomous system here as2 this way very simple just update the value similarly now this network has uh, this router r1 has conveyed to as2 but as1 has got another responsibility also because as1 is a transient autonomous system its job doesn't end here but by just sending to as2 the other ebgp router ebgp speaker which is identified as r2 its job is also to convey to as3 so this border router will convey to the border router that is present in as3 so i can write down here message number 3 fine now message number 3 i am just writing it here what does now r message 3 consist of once again uh, this r2 knows that yes you can reach because r2 very well knows n1 n2 n3 and n4 these are the four routers that can be reached via r2 and the autonomous system is as1 now similarly here r6 will also send its message so message number 4 here r6 is uh, having information about n10 n11 and n12 whenever i am telling that each internal border router knows how to reach other networks that is it is making use of intra domain routing protocol there like rip or ospf that's why it it knows that it can reach network n10 n11 and n12 the same is conveyed to the other autonomous system fine so now r6 will what it will do it message number 4 i am just indicating here so 4 is what related to which networks n10 n11 and n12 what is the next router that has to be used if anybody wants to reach these networks it is r6 which is the autonomous system as3 now there is one third uh, session that is there existing in this diagram r4 and r9 okay these two are getting exchanged so which are those messages r4 message number 5 i am writing it here 5 will always send what information n1 n2 n3 because these are the four networks that are present in as1 and uh, it will say yes you can reach this via r4 and the autonomous system is as1 and also what this Uh, router r9 which is the ebgp speaker of as4 will send the message the message number i have written here 6 it will give the information about what n4 n13 n14 and n15 and what is the router that is used uh, that has to be used here r9 what is the related uh, uh, autonomous system as4 so this way the messages are exchanged now in this particular diagram we have three sessions that is why we have written here three different tables showing the different messages that are exchanged between the ebgp speakers so depending on the diagram that is given in the exam you can also identify what the what is that you have to identify the border routers and show the messages that are exchange between these two border routers so definitely a diagram will have more than one autonomous system so it, your job is to identify okay which should be the border router a border router that has to be uh, this one that has to play the role of an ebgp speaker and get established okay a session with the other border router this is how uh, you are going to give the explanation for the and this one is what only ebgp external border gateway border gateway ebgp ebgp external border so normally in the textbook and all it is written as in lower case e stands here for external okay this is what is the functionality of a. and uh, that's what i said no just try to remember these points with related to border gateway protocol it is an inter domain it is based on the path vector routing and ebgp speaker should be identified session should be established messages has to get exchanged and uh, intra domain protocol that is used within each of the autonomous system can be rip or ospf fine this is how you have to give the explanation but the next variant ibgp internal border gateway protocol when it has to be used okay that i'll be taking it in the another second session of this only that can be the part 2 of the border gateway protocol so 
the reason for IBGP, I can tell here itself. See, uh, actually what is happening is these uh, sessions which are getting established with their neighboring autonomous system. Like if you see, this AS1 has established connection with AS2, fine. So, AS2 can definitely reach what all the networks that are present in AS1, that is possible. But it cannot reach networks that are present in AS4 and AS3. Similarly, AS3 can reach networks that are present in AS1, but it cannot reach networks that are present in AS2 and AS4. Likewise, AS4 can reach networks that are present in AS1, but AS4 cannot reach networks that are present in AS3 and AS2. Only autonomous system that is able to reach all networks present in this diagram is AS1. It can reach networks of AS2, AS3, AS4 and also definitely its own networks. So, now let us see is, is there any possibility that these autonomous systems can also reach what the networks of other autonomous systems. So, that I shall be explaining in the next session. Hope uh, this session is useful to you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.